Thursday Thoughts with Coach Bobby. Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. I want to talk to you today about a positive mindset, okay, and the importance of having positive thoughts throughout the day in order to achieve our goals, not only physically and health-wise, but in every area of our lives, whether it be career, whether it be relationships, and of course, whether it be our physical fitness. It's very important to approach each day with a positive mindset. Now, why is that important? Well, it's very important because from an early age, we begin to be inundated with what is a very negative world, okay? The images around us, the, the way people and the media and, and our surroundings speak to us begin to chip away at what was a very confident and very positive looking, outlooking baby year after year begins to get whittled away into what many times becomes a very insecure adult. So it's very important for us as human beings to understand this dilemma and have a positive mindset in order to bring toward us Power, powerful and positive things. So how do we do that? Well, we do it by actively engaging in activities that will promote a positive outlook. That being videos watching, that being listening to audio tapes, reading positive things, surrounding ourselves with positive people. All these things are very, very critical for us to do in order for us to maintain a positive outlook. Because again, from an early age, we begin to engage in this self-talk that has a negative spin to it, that begins to bring us down as we uh, listen to it. So we have to overcome that talk, right? The talk that we're not good enough, the self-negative talk that we're not smart enough, that, that we're not good enough for that person, that we can't achieve this physical goal or this career goal. All those things, uh, that daily self-talk brings us down and prevents us from becoming our best selves. So in order to prevent that, we have to actively go out and do things to combat that, all right? So I'm gonna give you some homework, all right? I'm gonna give you a list of things that you can do to begin to incorporate into your life healthy and positive habits that will help you overcome this negativity, all right? So whether that be reading books that I'll outline, books like The Power of Habit that help you to understand where these bad habits come from and this, this, this habit of, of, of poor and negative thinking comes from, the uh, books like Rewire Your Brain that tells you how all these things happen and how we begin to, to get enveloped into this negativity, negativity all right? Uh, I'm going to send you some links to some powerful uh, motivational speakers that I listen to, like Les Brown, like Eric Thomas, like Inky Johnson, people that when you listen to them will help you to at least begin your day from a positive mindset, all right? So all those things are, are, are going to be helpful, reading, uh, listening to audio tapes, watching videos. I want you to begin to take seriously um, your brain, okay? Because if you don't take seriously um, and, and actively... Uh, work your brain and allow the world to to take hold of it. That's what will happen. All right. So I'm going to give you homework to do. I want you to follow along. I want you to do what you can. All right. In terms of reading or listening or watching and 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 be an active participant in the recreation and the modeling and the direction of your thinking. Because if you don't direct your thinking into the right uh, direction someone else will. A great person I listened to once said that our our negative thoughts are like weeds. Okay, so you can eradicate them and kill them once, but unless you continue to spray weed killer on negative thoughts, they'll come back. So we need to develop habits into our daily schedule, whether it be meditating or reading or listening, that allow us to combat these negative thoughts. Okay, and, and then and only then can we be on course to continue to be healthy and continue to pursue the ideal person that we want to be. All right. So until next time, I want you to try out some of these suggested uh, uh, reading materials and videos and books uh, and audio tapes. And then uh, let me know what you guys think. All right. Until next time, this is Coach Bobby. Have a great day. Take care.